For user maintenance, go to general maintenance, user maintenance. Click on user and group. There are two maintenance here, user maintenance and user group maintenance. Let's look at user maintenance. The default user created by the system is admin under user group admins. This user is given absolute access right to all menus, forms, and functions. If you are the only user of this software, there is no need to add new user. To add a new user, click on Add New User. User Login ID. Key in user's ID not more than 10 characters. The ID will be used to log in auto account. Key in username. Active means the user ID is activated and active. Uncheck this checkbox usually means the user is no longer with the company, not active. Under General tab, key in the password of this user ID. It must have at least 4 characters. The length and strength of password setting can be changed at two options, General, Security Policy. Tap the password again to confirm. The system will alert you if it doesn't match. Password age, decide either password never expired or will expire after a certain number of days. Key in the email address if any. Signature. You may right click to load the signature that was scanned or saved in image file format. This signature can be printed on documents that need signature. Click on group tab. Here you may click on add to add this user to an earlier maintained user group. A user can belong to more than one group or none of the groups. When a user is assigned with a user group, we can set his access rights by user group or and by user. Click on save to save the new user. Click on user group maintenance. By default, the system has created seven most commonly used user groups. You may add, edit, or remove user groups by using respective buttons. Click on access rights. Expand the description tree. You may set access rights a particular function or command. Just click on the row of designated function. For example, general ledger, cash flow entry, open cash flow entry. On the right panel, check or uncheck the checkboxes of one or more user or user groups. Then click on apply. The user or user groups that are allowed to access to this particular function will be listed. You may set the access rights of a function or command by a topic group or subtopic group. Click on a group topic, for example, cash flow entry or general or root. If you select root, it means to set the entire access rights. And then click on set group access rights. A list of user ID and user group ID will be displayed. Click to highlight a user or group ID and click on the drop down button to select add which means to add access rights. Remove button to remove access rights. Click on OK and Yes. All the functions under this topic group will be added with the user that you allow access rights. There are more than 2,500 items in this access rights control. To search for a particular item, click on search for access right. Key in the keywords, for example, account book. Then click on search. The search result will be displayed. Is grouping if check means this is a group topic. Click to select an item and the location will be highlighted and you may proceed with setting the access right. Right click on the column header. You may do quite a few things such as full expand, full collapse, export to other formats and print tree list report. Another control on document transaction is called column lock. Go to tools. Options, Invoicing, Customize Invoicing. Click on Edit Column Lock. These are the types of document and transaction details. Let's click on Invoice. These are the names of field or column. When a checkbox is checked, it means the respective field or column is locked. Its value can be viewed but cannot be modified during transaction. That's all for user maintenance. Thank you.